Evelyn and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we are building yet another house in Oasis Springs. I know there's been quite a few of these lately, especially modern houses or contemporary houses, whatever you want to call them. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of working through this neighborhood right now. So that's what we're doing. But I'm actually going to save the last one of these four lots, which is the neighbor to this house. So it's another 30 by 20. I'm gonna save that until I am home from Denmark because I just want to put a little bit more effort into it and I don't have the time to do that right now so yes I am gonna wait with that one just for a little bit but today we are building on a 30 by 20 this house is for two parents and also their kid and a cat or a dog I mean there is a cat toilet thing, cat tray, whatever you want to call that, uh, in the house, but you can remove that and there'll be room for a dog instead if you want. Or you can have both. I mean, completely fine. I think there is, there should be two food bowls actually, because I tend to, for some reason, when I put in food bowls, I tend to put in two because in my mind, they need one for food, but also one for, you know, water. And... <laughs> the, the dogs and the cats in the game don't need one for water, so <laughs> I don't know, it's just a habit. It makes sense in my head because, you know, I used to have a dog and she used to have two food bowls, so or a water bowl and a food bowl, so it just makes sense to me to have two, so I guess you could have one for the dog and a cat if you want both in there, but it was just meant for... It was just meant for a cat, basically. I don't know why I chose to give him a cat, but I did. Anyways, I have been doing two voiceovers today. I got another one to do after this because I'm currently pre-recording. I am going home to Denmark on Sunday, so I have quite a lot to do this week, and I'm super excited. I am actually currently working on another house. Actually, I just finished it before doing this voiceover, so if I get a little bit confused, I don't fully remember what's going on. It's because I've already, like, my mind is already on another build. <laughs> I kind of tend to mix up my builds a little bit if I do one and then I edit the footage for that one and then I start another build before I do the voiceover for the first one which is the scenario that we're in right now this is the case right now so I may mix them up just a little bit even though this is a contemporary build and the other one is a Tudor build but hopefully it'll turn out fine <laughs> hopefully everything will be fine and i can remember exactly what i did i don't remember how long ago i built this was it a couple of days ago time is just flying by like i don't fully understand christmas is a week away right now because it's on the 17th right now so it's just a week away for me because we're celebrating it on the 24th and my god where the rest of december go like what happened <laughs> slow down please it's almost new year's <laughs> i mean i can't i can't keep up so uh yeah it's it's been a little bit crazy this last couple of days but everything is fine i like being busy and i am so excited to share more content with you guys i don't want to do the whole like new year's thing right now because <laughs> I st we're still two weeks away from new year's but i am so motivated for 2019 like you guys have no idea so yeah it's it's been on my mind quite a bit lately but anyways about this build so it is inspired by a house that I saw on Pinterest of course because you guys know I like to take inspiration from houses on Pinterest it looks a fair bit like the house at least the facade of it because I didn't actually get to see the back of it or the backyard or anything like that I changed just a few things like here at the front as well but other than that like the facade of the house itself looks quite a lot like the uh, the original house I also kept the color scheme the same because I really liked it like it was just all white and then it had this blue no not blue uh, brown this little brown piece in the middle and I really liked that so I kept that and then I added just a little bit of brown here and there besides from that so I kept the color scheme quite like the original one and I've also taken inspiration from the exterior color scheme for the interior so unlike the other builds that I've done in this area the interiors were quite uh, colorful in those like there's a lot of blue and yellow going on especially because <laughs> um, I love that color combination uh, for this one we're actually not using a whole lot of color it is mainly black brown and white and then there's a lot of plants here and there I was really trying to focus on focus on putting plants in there but I like I tried without making it look messy so I feel like there's a lot for contemporary 
temporary build, but I'm pretty sure that I've built something else, like a little cottage or something, where I've put more plants in than just the few that are in this house. But I was definitely trying to add just a little bit extra plants here and there. So I do feel like it's quite plancy on the inside. And uh, yeah, I quite like how it turned out. I hope you guys like it too. So hopefully the next couple of builds won't be... I know the next build won't be a contemporary build because it is a Tudor house. It's a big Tudor house, kind of like a mansion, a little bit. Um, it's on a 40 by 30 at least, I feel like. Like that's quite big or that's actually my standard size like my standard lot size so maybe it's not i don't know anyways i feel like it's quite a big house it's got room for quite a lot of sims as well so hopefully you guys will like that one it is christmas themed and i'm excited to share it with you guys i did show a picture of it on like a work in progress picture of it on my discord channel so if you want to join that there's a link to that down below <laughs> um i got into this habit of like mentioning it almost every single video sorry if that's annoying but <laughs> i like to talk to you guys on there so if you want to join there's a link to that in the description down below but i've been so busy lately like i've yeah I've already said that, but trust me, there's a lot going on here at home right now. Nothing Christmas related whatsoever, though. I'm just recording and recording day in and day out. I'm enjoying it so much, though. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining at all. Like, I'm enjoying it. It's just it's just taking a lot of time <laughs> but I really want to have stuff up on the channel while I'm in Denmark so I am recording day in and day out and yeah it's quite a lot of fun Thursday is gonna be such a stressful day though because we're gonna get up early and we're gonna clean and then I am going to the dentist which I know that's weird. I'm just sitting here and telling you guys my my everyday plans, like my 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 plans for the day on Thursday is not super exciting. But I'm going to the dentist, and the reason that I'm mentioning it is because it's the first time that I'm going to the dentist in Scotland. It's the first time I'm going to the dentist, and we're gonna speak English, <laughs> and that makes me a little bit nervous because I've never done that before. I'm not entirely sure what everything is called in English, <laughs> so that's gonna be fun and kind of nerve-wracking. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but everything is hopefully gonna be fine. I'm good with my teeth, so there's that. I know it's super random to talk about, but I just I needed to share it. So, <laughs> anyways, and then we're gonna have a Christmas dinner in the evening. So Thursday is gonna be super busy, but other than that, I'm the just sitting at home and recording day in and day out and I'm enjoying it so much I am enjoying making content for you guys so freaking much so yeah I just I don't know I just need to talk about that just a little bit hopefully that's fine <laughs> out here we're making kind of a gazebo are these still called gazebos because I mean I don't know what, what it's called, like a hangout area kind of thing. I think I ended up putting a grill there later on and then a dining, or not like a, yeah, a dining table, dinner table thing so they can sit out there and eat together if they want to. This is built during the summer so the weather is really nice. It is in Oasis Springs so it's even nicer. I don't like building in Oasis Springs though because the lighting is so off, like it's kind of yellowish and it's just I like when the I like when the lighting is on the facade of the build like the front of the build because it looks good for thumbnails <laughs> but I can't find any lots in the, like this area where the lighting hits the facade of the build and it annoys me so freaking much so there's that I'm yeah I'm not a big fan of Oasis Springs you guys know this if you've been here for a while because I literally never built there but I'm okay with it now it's fine like I'm getting used to the lighting being a little bit more yellow here um, I've heard some other people have issues with Willow Creek being a little bit green so I suppose it's not just like I suppose it's not just Oasis Springs there are some issues with the other worlds too I don't know if it's on purpose though so I'm not sure if I should call it issues but <laughs> to me it's kind of annoying that it's like like it's yellow even though there's not a heat wave go going on it's still yellow <laughs> you get what I mean so but I'm getting used to it I'm getting used to it so don't worry about that there'll be more builds in Oasis Springs we still got a whole four other neighborhoods to do because we got the one where the land grabs live and we got the one where the community lots are and then we got the two other ones the one where Johnny Sess lives and then the fourth one which is a small like the, there's a lot of small lots in that area as well so I suppose there'll be some starter homes there and I'm super excited to build those as well it, even though I have no idea what they're gonna look like right now but <laughs> it's gonna be fun so yes I also saw some comments on it was either my last video like my last beat build or the one before that don't fully remember which one it was 
But some of you guys want to see some Mediterranean houses for Oasis Springs as well, and don't worry, I will be doing some because that's kind of, it's yeah, it's kind of where you build Mediterranean houses. They don't really belong in the other worlds that much, so it will be coming at some point, and I think I'm gonna build them in the area with the smaller lots. The only thing is I've never built. I built one Mediterranean house before, as far as I remember. I'm not entirely sure if it was actually Mediterranean because it was inspired by oh well, it was inspired by an italian house so i suppose i don't know anyways <laughs> i'm not i don't know much about mediterranean houses <laughs> we'll get to it at some point it's gonna be great <laughs> but i think i'm gonna build just a couple of them at least in the area with the smaller lots that i was talking about before so not the area where jenny says lives but the other area or I'm gonna turn that one into the mid-century modern house area and then put some Mediterranean houses in the area where Johnny Sess lives, where there'll also be trailers. It's gonna be a nice little mix down there. I'm not entirely sure what to do about those areas just yet, but <laughs> we'll figure it out once we get there and hopefully we can get just a couple done of them before I go to Denmark. So some of them will be up on the channel while I'm gone, but we'll see. I'm not entirely sure because like, I need to do some research on Mediterranean houses first because I'm clueless. <laughs> so yes, but they will be uh, they will be coming for this uh, this world. So don't worry about that. Oasis Springs is very Mediterranean kind of like it's meant for Mediterranean houses in my opinion at least, or like a mix of Mediterranean houses and also mid-century modern houses. So there will be some of those coming. Don't worry, do not fret. They will be coming, but um, yeah. So that was the update on the save file for this speed build. I do tend to update you guys just every single time I do a build for the save file. I kind of tend to give you guys a little bit of an update, even though, you know, not much changes between one, <laughs> like from one speed build to the other. I just add an extra house to the save file, but it's nice to just give you guys updates now and then. Also, because you keep commenting on it as well, and then I answer your questions and stuff. So yes, that was the update in here. we got the living room in case you had not noticed yet. I did not have room for an office so I decided to put that little computer area over here because I still feel like a house needs a computer like one, a sims house needs a computer for it to function properly. I don't know it's like it's it's a thing like in my head I just something's telling me they need a computer so I keep giving my sims computers and unfortunately there was no room for an office. Luckily sims don't care like they can sit and concentrate and program on the computer while someone else is watching watching TV and it's completely fine. Real life doesn't necessarily work that way, but the Sims can do whatever they want to do when it comes to that stuff, so they don't actually need an office area. It just kind of looks nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do like this little corner over here with the computer. It's very cozy and I like the I like the stuff on the shelves. I don't know. I like cluttering, <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed yet. Um, I feel like I've gotten a little bit better cluttering contemporary houses, to be honest. Like, it feels a little bit more natural now. I was very scared to do that at the start because in my mind contemporary houses are just so clean and not messy and I don't know like kind of clinical a little bit but I think I've gotten better at uh, what's it called cluttering contemporary houses in a natural way at least I feel like I have I might be mistaken I don't know <laughs> but I do think I have so it's a little bit cluttered this build at least it feels homey to me even though it's a contemporary house I have no idea what the neighbors are doing but they're making so much noise I'm terribly sorry if you can hear that I have no idea what's going on but hopefully you guys can't hear anything the bathroom bathroom is on the other side of my wall as well so like I shouldn't be able to hear anything unless someone is making a very angry or taking a very angry poop out there. Could be happening, you never know, but I don't freaking know what's going on. It's just kind of noisy and I, I just wanted to say sorry if you can hear anything. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully the microphone won't pick up on it. But you never know because sometimes it does pick up on it when there are cars outside at 3 because there's a school on the other side of the road and parents come and pick up their kids and they're noisy too so a lot of noise going on out here at three <laughs> and unfortunately the microphone does pick up on us so you never know but hopefully you guys won't um, be able to hear what's going on on the other side of that wall because it's a little strange it's a little, it's a little bit weird it's a bathroom how much noise can you make in a bathroom <laughs> anyways so in here we got the parents bedroom and again it's very brown and white and also black i did stick to this uh, color scheme throughout the entire house so they also have their 
their own uh, little terrace outside just for them. So I think if I recall correctly, I wouldn't be surprised if I forgot because that's just typical me. I just took the screenshots though, but I think there's a chess table out there and also a lounge chair kind of. Uh, like combined by um, using, what is it? One of the chairs from Perfect Patio, I think, and then one of the pillows from City Living, possibly. I've done that like a fair amount of times by now, so you've probably seen that before. Also on other channels, so anyways, but I think I put those things out here in just a second. Yes, as you can see right here. I was trying to use some of the other chairs, but they just don't work as well as that one. I'm sorry. They just, this one just works so well for this. I wish we had chairs like that though. That would be amazing. But anyway, so they have their own terrace out here. There is also like, um, there's a bigger terrace for everyone living in this house where there's a lot more going on. So they have their own eating area out there there's a dinner table i don't recall if i actually put a grill up there i don't think i did but in case your sims want to grab the food and sit out on the terrace they can definitely do that or just sit out there and talk or do homework or whatever they want to do and i also put a did i put yeah i think i put an easel up there as well and also a couch um, like the the front of the build as well because the terrace is almost like a whole wraparound kind of situation uh, So there's quite a lot of outdoors space on that and yes I hope they can enjoy Sitting out there and doing whatever they want to do and here we got the children's room is the only one with a little bit of like actual cut I know brown is the color, but this is the only room with like actual color <laughs> sorry brown i know your color but i don't know how else to explain it <laughs> but i did just want to add just a little bit of color to this one to make it a little bit more like a little bit more bright and playful maybe so yes i do do more toned down versions of children's rooms sometimes but for this one i just wanted to brighten it up just a little bit so yes we are getting to the end of this video very soon though i think i'm just gonna add just a few items here and there i'm gonna fix the whole like grill area on under the gazebo as well, adding a sofa kind of couch situation, love seat <laughs> uh, at the front of the house as well, and that should be about it. So I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover. But I hope you like this build. You can download it off the gallery. My ID is Evelyn YT, and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or Evelyn YT. If you got any suggestions for anything you want to see in the new year, do let me know in the comments section down below. I am so excited to come home again, even though I haven't left yet. But I'm so excited to come home again and just start making more videos because I freaking love sitting here and recording for you guys so uh, yes super excited for the new year and everything that's gonna happen and it is going to be good hopefully we'll see <laughs> but anyways I do hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one bye bye